this mold plate requires a, a vector burn electrode to extract this undercut region. The electrode itself has already been modelled using normal direct modelling techniques and there is also a line that defines the vector that we want the electrode to move along. There are two ways to define a vector electrode. One is to pre-select the electrode and the wireframe and then start the wizard. I'm going to say that this electrode already includes a base. If we go straight into the vector page, you can see that it has pre-selected a vertical base. If we animate the electrode, you can see that it moves along the line until it is clear and then carries on as normal. The alternative method is to simply select the electrode itself, then start the wizard, and again go straight into the vector page. And you can see that at the moment the electrode is simply moving horizontally and then vertically, which is not quite what we want. So we say we want a vertical base and now we can go into the vector definition page and pick the start point of the line and then the end point of the line to define the vector. Once you have your electrode moving as you wish, simply continue the wizard in the normal way.